Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Chinese Cantonese Useful Phrases. Um, and here I would go over some of the common phrases that you would say and hear at the restaurant. So I have revamped the app for Android. Um, the iPhone version of it is no longer available and uh, this is the, um, the Cantonese simple and useful phrases app um, and it contains flashcards and quizzes for the vocabulary that you find in uh, the simple and useful phrases series. Uh, now um, uh, uh, this app would be continually updated and revamped if there are any bugs found. Um, for details in how to get it, uh, you could go see the video description below. I would uh, I don't know would have the link to the Google Store there. Um, or else uh, you could basically search uh, this app up in uh, Google Store um, using the keyword for, uh, of Cantonese uh, phrases you could probably find it um, the icon shape would be uh, 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 the same as what was used before so Let's go over some of the basic phrases that um, you would hear. Now, when you first arrive to the restaurant, um, most probably they would ask how many people in Cantonese. And how many people in Cantonese is to wai. Now, um, how are you going to respond to this is either uh, point out with your fingers how many people you have, or uh, if you have listened to my uh, 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 number series, um, you would uh, say the number and then add the word Y at the end. So, like, let's say if I have a party of three, I would say Sam. Why? Sam, why? Now let's say once you um sat down, uh, the waiter or waitress would come over and would ask you, uh, what do you want to drink? And what do you want to drink in Cantonese is, yam ti mat ye, yam ti mat ye. Now, uh, when they want to ask you what do you want to eat, then you would then they would say sekti mat ye, sekti mat ye. Now, if I if I want to say or if you want to say, I want to have, um, then in Cantonese we would say ngo sheng yu. Now, in the end um, of going into a restaurant, you need to get the bill, and getting the bill, you would say, bill please, and in Cantonese, it's, uh, you would say, mai tan goi, mai tan goi. Now, um, there's also, uh, you probably, uh, say ah uh, at the middle of dan and mm. uh, so um, sometimes we would say my dana goi and that's more um, more uh, uh, normal for people to say uh, and the word ah uh, doesn't have much meaning to it now let's go back to these four words uh, the first two my dan the word my means to close and Dan means the bill. So my dan means close the bill. Now this, the last two words is actually more useful. 
the word m goi means please. So um, now let me repeat again for the word please. We need to say m goi. So if we want to say the bill please, we would say my dana m goi. Now let's say that um, you need to go to the washroom and you want to ask um, the waiter or the waitress where is the washroom in the restaurant. Um, in Cantonese, you would say "sai sao gan hai bin." Sai sao gan hai bin. The word "sai sao gan" means washroom, and uh, the word "hai bin." means where is so in Cantonese we need we would say washroom where is or sai sao gan hai bin now if we want to say very tasty we would say ho ho sek ho ho sek or sometimes you don't need the the double ho you could just say ho sek and that's fine both uh, is fine, but with the added um, word ho, uh, just adds the uh, the emotions to it. Now, if we want to say how much is it, then you would say gei do qin, gei do qin. And lastly, if I want to say I want one more. I would say yu to yat go yu to yat go now notice that um, I didn't include the word I in in this uh, phrase but if you want to you could so if I in include the word I then I would say ngo yu to yat go ngo yu to yat go now what happens if I want to say I want one more please? I want to be more polite in this case, right? Now, um, if if I want to say that, then I would add the word mm, goi at the end. So now if I want to say I want one more please, then I would say ngo yu to yat go mm, goi. So um. We have just established a um, Facebook page called Cantonese Language and Culture Group. And um, we would like you su your support by liking and following our Facebook group. So um, the link is in the video description, or you could see it in the in the screen right here, which is facebook.com slash Cantonese Calgary. Um, and what it has is it's going to have our latest news on um, our free videos, apps, as well as other learning materials. Uh, we are also um, have periodic uh, giveaways um, for Cantonese learners so that they could improve their learning experience. Uh, currently, um, we have uh, we are giving away to everyone um, details are on the Facebook page and what it is is um, uh, it's a Cantonese beginners cheat sheet and what this cheat sheet has is it's basically very condensed materials and it's it's a it's a PDF file and you could print it out um, and what it has it it has the basic phrases, um, the tonation charts, uh, as well as some simple verbs and simple sentence structure. And you could put it into your pocket, and um, you could actually quickly just take it out, and and it it lets you remember the key things in order to build a simple conversational sentence in Cantonese. So please support us and um, go to the go to the, the Facebook page and like and follow our page thank you